What's up guys, this is Matt with Unreal Dev Hub. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set the location of an actor or component on a spline using Blueprint. Let's jump in. In our content drawer, I will right click, create a new Blueprint class of type actor. I'll call this BP, BP underscore spline actor. I'll double click to open it up. In the top left, I will add a new component of type spline. And let's now compile, save, and drag this into our viewport. Let's talk about splines for just a second. By default, splines are not always intuitive how to work with them. First, as a brief refresher, what we're going to do is edit the spline points of this. So when I select this, I can see that the spline component is here in my details panel. And I can edit the spline points by selecting the point. We'll see that I now have access to move this line but now how do I make a new spline point? There's two ways. Either I can click Alt on my keyboard and drag my left mouse, which you can see has created a new point. So this is the first point, and this is the one I've just created. So I'll do that a few times. I'm holding Alt on my keyboard and dragging my left mouse to create new spline points. And now I have a new spline. So I can also right click and say add spline point here to create a new spline point, which will allow me to add a new spline point to the spline. When I select, I can either rotate the points to adjust the tangents, and I can also click them and move them accordingly to adjust the spline. So now that we've covered splines, let's show how to edit the location of a component. All right, in our blueprint, we will add a new component We'll add a cube, and now we will edit the location of the cube using our construction script. So in our construction script, what we're going to do is we're going to find the location on a point in the spline and set the cube to that location. So first, we're going to add a variable, and we will press the plus sign right down here in our variables panel, and say distance along spline. I'm gonna change this from a Boolean to a float, and then over here in the slider range, I'm going to change this from zero to one in slider and zero to one in the value range. Now I'm going to pull off of my spline. I'm going to say get transform at distance along spline. I'm going to get distance along spline, pull off into my graph. I will say lerp. I'm going to actually now drag this into the alpha. I'm gonna pull off my spline once again and say get spline length. I'm gonna drag get spline length into the B. I'm gonna drag this return value into distance. I'm going to change coordinate space to local. And then I will get my cube and I will pull off here and I will say set world transform. I'm going to drag this execution pin from the construction script. <clears throat> then this pin from the transform into our new transform. I'll compile and I'll save. What we're doing here is we're basically assessing a zero to one value that the user will provide once they expose this by clicking this eyeball right here, which we're going to do right now. So now that the eyeball is exposed, we'll be able to use this variable in the blueprint in our environment. We're basically remapping from a value of zero to the length of the spine, spline with the input we give, finding that transform in world space, which is a combination of scale, rotation, and um, location setting the world space of this cube when we construct. So let's see what that looks like. Save and go to our level. We see our cube now by default is at the point, the zero point of this line. And over here in our details, if we drag this value, if we drag the slider, we'll see that the object slowly moves along this line as we shift that value. And in order to do the same thing with an actor, we could add an actor reference. So I will say 
um, let's add a new variable down here. And let's say actor reference. And I will say of type actor. We'll create an object reference. Expose this using the eyeball. Compile. And then I will say, let's drag this out onto our graph. Set get actor reference. We will say set actor transform. And I will drag this in here. And then we're going to use the same transform from here. So in this situation, I'm not going to set both the component and the actor. I'm going to delete this for a moment, compile, save. And the cube is going to remain. I'll actually just delete this for, for now. But now let's add a actor. So let's say we have a point light. And we've just added that into the environment. I'm going to select this. I will select my point light. And I'm going to actually just drag the spline out of the ground a little bit because it looks like the light is getting caught under the ground. So now if I select my spline actor, I can move the spline or move the light along the spline using the same logic to move an actor as we did previously a component. That is all for today's video. Hope you all learned something great and look forward to sharing more Unreal Engine 5 content with you soon. Have a great day.